Now then, Kamenka. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's not looking all that great, if I'm all honest. Same time, I might want to push through here, first things first. And you can start doing crowd attack on there instead. Start breaking some of those attacks. Is this going okay? It's um, guards mechanized, but I think we're doing okay in that combat. The province is under attack once more. Is there anything going on near... No, actually, I don't think there's that much attacks going near Moscow right now. Which is good for us. Although that does mean that the Soviets are also regaining a lot of their manpower. Well, some of their manpower. They lost a lot of the modifiers, so they don't have that large increase in there. Overall, but it can still be a bit of a uh, hassle. UK still wants us to join the Allies, but I don't think we'll be doing that. Yeah, we're going to be getting a bit more infrastructure soon. Actually, let's have a look at the bottleneck in the supply line. So there's a bottleneck over here. It needs um, 1,600. We're pushing 1,400 through there. So that's not too bad of a situation. It's not the best, but it's improving. Then over here, there's 807 that we can push through, and we'd require 1,600. So yeah, that's still only half of what we can or what we need in there. But I think it's still improving the situation a little bit. Of course, we do have the transport planes bringing in some supplies, although I'm not actually entirely sure. Oh, there's no supplies in here. Right, we maybe we should uh, spread them out a little bit then. Um, there would be another place there. There would be certainly a lot of supplies, right? Uh, I mean, this is kind of out of the way for the supplies anyway. Require 87 supplies. How much do these spend? I suppose it does factor in the amount of supplies that we are transporting or something like that. Um, I mean, Riga might work, actually. We'll send one of them into Riga and start supplying the Moscow region. There we go. So, down... Yeah, we should be able to reach here. We'll actually put in a bit of a radius in there as well. We'll only do daily. We'll do continuously though. If we could get this area at least resupply, that'd be really nice. Right, so there really is a gap in the front here, but we just don't have troops that are capable of fighting. Or like holding on against the counterattacks that they will send. Inevitably. Is this? I think that might hold. I'm sending more of these troops forward over here. Actually, yeah, you can push forward as well. You know what? I'm going to push you to the northwest. I'm going to have some of the paratroopers sit in here on some of the cities, I guess, because they, they're not in that great shape right now. Let's be honest. Oh, right. We did break at least the division there. Excellent. How far can you reach here? Mm, not very far. I mean, I suppose we could break that one. at fleeing, does that count? <laughs> well, um, maybe. Oh, right, uh, they did... Oh. Okay, they might have some problems of their own here. By the looks of it. So we're not necessarily going to be retreating all the way through. Although these troops are mm, going to have to pull back already. Now send one of the divisions down this way. To at least have some troops holding the line. The enemy seems to be... Oh, now they're going to be counter -att oh, attacking over here again, aren't they? Indeed they are. But well, we've got three divisions. We've got plenty of piercing attack. Uh, they are not going to surprise us with that. We've got forest, so we've got pretty good defensive modifiers overall. I'll say, okay, that's good. Um, these two can push forward. And then over here we can take these two infantry. And push there. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be easy to push them because there's a lot of divisions in there. Actually, I, I have a feeling that a lot of them will. Oh, first guard artillery. Is that actually a division in there? Maybe. 
Or maybe it's just their regiment or something. Push these forward. And that one. I think, um, actually, where does the... The Ural start over there. Yeah, we've still got a little bit ways to go. Bridge that. They are now at 94 units, so throwing in progress 58.8%. So again, it's slowly improving, and Sarasov did actually have a bit of an impact there. Not massive, mind you. Is there any other victory points that we are close to? I mean, other than Moscow. And Vologda, but Vologda we can't really take. Arkhangelsk isn't too far either. I don't think we can clear out that one quite yet. Is there anything else? Kubushev is 15, but they got a lot of troops there. I mean, we might be able to get there. With a bit of luck and a bit of uh, bombardment. Speaking of which. Go ahead and grab these as well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, we can't reach there. I suppose we could use this to break down some of the enemy resistance there. No, that's too far as well. Never mind. So there's not much you can do. I suppose I could just uh, redeploy you down to Stalingrad. How much do I have planes there? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of room there now. Although probably not a fuel, or at least not a lot of fuel there. But we'll see. Right, uh, do we have... I'll take those two, keep on attacking. These two will start turning to the northeast. And kind of clear out the... Or go along this river here. And try to get to Kazan. And then these two could maybe start getting across the river along with these other two here. And you are not in a good shape. So I'll just let you stay back for now. Another car with one combat there, excellent. That is... I think we already had this province at one point, but we lost a decent chunk of land in here. And they're slowly retaking it, at least. Now that they are turning their attention away from this. Uh, is that... Mm, I'm gonna send the infantry division there, just in case. I think we're gonna need some troops there. And of course, these are the are troops and my troops as well. I'm gonna start moving them a little bit further down here. Maybe they can start... Or we can start pushing... A bit further north. I reckon we haven't found the... Now, Kubrichev does have pretty good um, infrastructure in there, but it is a city. It's a very important city, I reckon, as well. But we have not found any substantial infrastructure in here yet. The problem is that I rarely play a Soviet Union, so I don't remember where exactly the uh, railway goes in terms of uh, the provinces. Oh. Okay, so we are now pushing next to Kubishev. We could actually send in another one over here to support attack. Uh, on the other hand, with the bombardment that we're doing and all that, it's actually not that bad of a situation in this combat. And Kubishev is down to four garrisons. I mean, four garrisons is still quite substantial. I think we'll be alright. Over here, we are holding back the enemy attacks, which is quite nice. The longer we can hold them back, the better. It gives us more time to build up some of the build boxes. Actually, how far are we from getting the build boxes? There's these ones, so... Eight days. And we get the first levels in here. And I... Hold on a minute. Uh, the railway down here... Yeah, there's now the full level. I was wondering, like... There's a lot of big parties support and all that. Collaboration government at least makes it relatively small the support from all of that, but then there's a bit of suppression. Alright, I was somehow I was thinking that it was October when we get the police centers, but no, it's November, so about two months from now. We get a lot of police centers along the supply lines there. That should uh, reduce the effect that the partners have on supply lines. Which might be quite important, I would say. Okay, we are slowly trying to get back through here, but it is really difficult. We can maybe give a bit of a support attack. 
Is this holding? Yeah, that, no, that's holding definitely. Well, the lack of supplies is still plaguing us. As it is pretty much everywhere on the front. Well, not everywhere on the front, but everywhere on the central front, let's put it that way. And a little bit in the far east. Oh, right, actually, I forgot. We had the attack down here, we got through, and now they're doing counterattack with the light tank division. Over a river, into mountains. I think that is a bit of a desperate measure. Attack modifiers 41, we got defensive modifiers of uh, 860 and up. And that's during night time. Oh, right, yeah, they caught that one. That makes sense. Is this combat still going on? Oh, right, we abandoned that one. Okay. Um, in that case, we might want to retreat to the river line already. Or get a little bit closer. We might pull these up to the north. And kind of slow them down still. But, like, uh, because there was a gap in the front already, I didn't want to hold it there. Oh, air combat in Moscow. Is this going to be our final battle that we needed for the air thing? Maybe. Or maybe not. Well, we'll see. It'll if that is the case tomorrow or not. Oh no, I think you are convoys. Okay, well do we have the... Oh right, electro submarines. I forgot that I had these. Uh, you know what? Let's just send you down to patrol here. Or convoy raiding in here. And then long range submarines you can reach actually pretty far. Just in case, I'm going to start sending you down to convoy raiding over there. In case we can catch some of the convoys going through the channel. Also mud. Okay, well. The name of the stream was uh, uh, Moscow or mud. We got mud. I'm not entirely happy about that, but it wasn't necessarily a vinable situation. Or um, we wouldn't be able to make them surrender anyway. Uh, I mean, we have plenty of chromite. It was mostly just uh, negating some of the chromite from the Soviets, but they probably still had the chromite. Or they had a second chromite province. So it's not that big of an uh, impact, I reckon. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's just not a lot. You know what? I'm going to redeploy you there. I can move around some of these at least. Uh, but where is... yeah, here is the Chromite province. So yeah, that's another 8 Chromite away from the Soviets. Again, I'm not entirely sure how bad of a situation it is for them. Uh, the industry has gone down a little bit again, so it's about 400 now what they have. Actually, I wonder... Like, what sort of resources would they have around here somewhere if we were to start doing some strategic bombing? We wouldn't necessarily have to do much of it, as long as they don't uh, try to stop us. I believe we do have some bombers down... Actually, where do we have bombers? Not there anymore. The medium bombers, for example, over here. If we get them to Barky and start doing some bombardment on the various resource nodes over here, I don't think they'll be able to intercept us. There's not really any airfields nearby. At least, not all that nearby. So that might be another way for us to start reducing the uh, unity. And let's say if over winter we could lower the unity down to like a 90%, that would already be pretty decent. I mean, there's still a lot of work to do after that, but hey, it's better than nothing. Well, these are part of Taz's army. Let's just keep moving them north. Actually, let's move them over here. Let's even redeploy them over there. Of course, that is going to cause some supply issues, but... Oh, there we go, veteran air force. So other or organization regain rate 2.5%, air organization 5%, and officer recruitment 35%. So officer ratio is probably going to stay pretty good for now. And how far are we from the naval thing? We need another 17 battles. So that's a bit easier said than done. Oh dear. Pushing through here. Um. Oh, there's bombardment in there. Okay, let's go ahead and pull these back. Because I don't want to lose troops in there. Because they can quite easily push further and further in here. Because we have no troops in here that are... Oh, we've got a lot of big troops that we can maybe send in. But, like, basically all of the Moscow region is just out of supplies. There's not much I can do about it. And with the crown attack that they aren't doing, it's really difficult to hold on to anything. You know what? I'm actually going to do something drastic. 
get some of these. Send them all the way down to Leningrad. It's a bit of a long distance, but they'll be out of the way. They will be getting supplies uh, just fine. They'll be able to resupply there and replenish and all that, and then we can send them back in once they are good to go. Okay, at least we're holding on some of their ground here. Um, that's one versus one. We got... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Oh, logistical bombing in... Oh, dear. Damaging infrastructure, reduce supplies by five. Okay. Or oh, less than five, actually. That's not too... Oh! Oh, bollocks, they are getting through Kalinin, aren't they? And we got nothing to stop them. Okay, we are in catastrophe mode. Oh, we've got two divisions over here. Get them in there. Uh, do we have anything in here? Not really. Okay, so you're going to go into Leningrad as well. I'm going to pull this one down south. It's been bombarded already anyway. Uh, do we have actually anyone doing intercepting here? I don't suppose we do. Just in case, I'm going to put you in air mode daily. All of that continues. And yeah, the enemy is pushing forward in here. Oh, there we go. We caught at least the bombers in here. Excellent. Right, is this... Um, no, I don't think that one's going to cause a problem. Unless they've got a lot of bombardment, old bombers doing their work, which they might have. They do still have a pretty larger air force, for sure. Right, did we get the air... Forces into Baki, I believe we did. I don't think they have... Yeah, they have no fuel. R Are they actually using 62 fuel? Oh, wow. That is a lot of fuel being used. It's probably going to take a week at least before they get their supplies in there, then. Probably a lot more. We really need to get a lot more troops uh, guarding the supply lines. Because it is going to be a problem. Oh, and now we need a ton of reinforcements. Of course. Oh dear, we are under attack already. Okay. Right, um... Where the heck do we get troops to defend all of that? Because there is a massive gap about to be formed up. Oh, and that's not getting supplies. Right, um... Hmm. We've got a lot of troops here. Get to Mozhaisk. And yeah, they're just pushing everything. At least we're getting some troops over here, so this should be able to hold them back a little bit. I mean, yeah, we're making a massive damage on them. Yeah, it is going to be a long winter. It hasn't even started yet. But of course, as soon as we get into a little bit better situation with our supplies, then we can start doing our counterattacks. But we need to be really careful when advancing too far, because otherwise we are going to have a massive, massive issues and potentially lose full armies. And I'd rather avoid that. So I'd rather have this war last for three years rather than one year and lose. I'm going to take one of these away. Sharkovitz is going to hold. This one is not going to hold. Which one is that? Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. Sharkovitz. That's not going to be a problem. That is not going to be a problem. That's not going to be a problem. Because what I can do, actually, is... Uh, are they, yeah, those are under attack. These are not under attack. I'm going to send one of these down south. As well. Let's send you to the Les Noyer. Or something like that. Yeah, we lost Dunlov. Is this... That one's holding, at least. But yeah, the fact that we are we are doing air supplies in here, but it's of course not enough. Like, you won't be able to supply a full army. Oh, where's the... Oh, wait, no, I sent it to Riga, didn't I? Yeah, it is flying to drop in supplies right now. Right there, actually. I wonder, actually, how much does it drop in here? 
Enough to keep this apparently supplied. Dimitra held, but Taldon will lost that. Now how is this one? I think this is gonna hold. Dimbor, Dimitro under attack once again. Marizino under attack. And yeah, these troops are just not in a good shape. We are retreating a lot of troops away from here. How about we actually pull these troops back? I know that they can still hold, but we need to pull back into position where we're going to resupply. Otherwise, we are going to lose all of this. At least, like, when I say all of this, like, all of this. I don't think we'll lose the Moscow region that badly, because uh, we do have some supplies there. We've got a bit more troops in the vicinity that will hopefully get supplied soon enough. At least partially supplied. Okay, well that was a lot of victories at least. But yeah, the lack of supplies is... quite, um... tangible. Oh, they're attacking with... Oh no, they just sent a tank division as well. But we dug in quite well for the most part in here. We got pretty good to... Uh, actually, how about is the fort... No, actually the fort modifier isn't that bad. It's still something. Ooh, capital shipyard. Right, well, I mean, that just updated the modifier that we got at the start of the month. But still, it's uh, pretty good. How much uh, infrastructure are we going to get in the near future? Uh, we're going to get a lot in October. Which might help with some of the problems near Moscow, but probably not too much. I think it, the majority of the problems... I don't know why I teleported there, or moved my view there. Um... Because this is where I wanted to check. So that is a problem. And over here there's a little bit of problems. Oh, we didn't receive enough supplies in here. We can transport more than we have a problem there. It's just not enough was sent, I guess. And then there is supplies going through here to certain degree. Actually, no. Most of the supplies going to Leningrad are going through all of this mess. Okay, good to know. Uh, we do still have these, which I suppose should do naval strikes there now. Okay, at least we are defending successfully over there. How is this attack going? Not very well. I think it will succeed. Oh hey, we found the ships again. Uh, did we repair any of these ships? Um, maybe we'd repair a little bit. I'm going to put you as intercepts in there. And then we're going to send you down that way. We might be able to sink the remaining ships. At least get another combat going in there. How about the situation in here with the supplies? I mean, we've got still organization at least. Right, Salotcha. Oh, right, yeah, you. Defended that. That has a lot of troops in here, but they don't seem to be particularly well supplied and all that. Probably should not have sent all of them in there, but. Have a look at this combat. I have a feeling that with the bombardment that we do, we're gonna um, shatter at least two or three of those, and then we're gonna push through. Oh, there we go. We've got some submarines sinking more convoys from the Soviets. Excellent. And that is holding... How are these troops doing? Um, could be a little bit better. I'm going to pull this one back behind the river line. Rubinsk. I think we're going to be pushed out of here. I thought... Oh yeah, I already gave the orders to retreat from there. Okay, I'm just going to retreat. No point staying there because it's just... We're going to get surrounded very soon. At least we got... You know what? We need to stop that. Even if we can't win it in combat immediately. If we can stop it... And just keep them in combat for the time being. Or we should be able to at least recuperate a little bit from the catastrophe that has been happening right now. I'll start doing some ground attack there. We are also losing some convoys ourselves. I'm pretty sure that it's happening somewhere around here. So let's patrol on that area instead. Oh hey! Naval combat? Oh yeah, they started retreating south there. Uh, submarines already. 
I don't think we actually sank anything, unfortunately, but hey, it's another naval combat. Presumably. It doesn't always uh, count the naval combats either. Oh, well, we did uh, sink two. So I guess that probably is counted. Let's move over there. Getting some bombardment done there, excellent. Was Lovo. Oh right, yeah, this is the combat in here, so we might be able to stop this. Especially with the bombardment that we're doing. Oh, another... Yeah, oh, that's a transpose. Can we sink them? That would be nice. I hope they bring in more stuff there, but we did sink the one of the transports at least. I can guarantee that much. Hey, battleship class advances to level four. Well, about time. Um, oh, come on. In the middle of nowhere here. Now you better behave and uh, shatter yourself. I'll do it for you. Do I not have? Oh no, I moved the close air support away, didn't I? Alright, could we sing some more of the submarines, please? Also, how many naval battles do we still need for the modifier? 16, okay. So we've still got work to do in that regard, so how bad is the situation in here? I think we are going to win this. I mean, these troops are not... I mean, actually, they are getting supplied now. Well, that's a good... that's a bit of a relief, at least. And these are also getting supplied. These, on the other hand, not so much. I'm going to pull back some of these at least down that way these are also supplied kind of that's being redeployed there I suppose I could move you there uh, do the ones uh, of the planes from Stalingrad do they have enough reach I mean I don't want to send this one because this is the reserve but the other one why are you attacking anyway? Oh right, you were attacking there. Um, how about you actually go down here? I think this is a bit more important region right now. Start doing strikes on the enemy spearheads in here. Oh, they're getting over there as well. Okay, well let's go ahead and pull some of these back. Hopefully that will help. 